Hello, this is Chuck here. I'm at uh, Starbucks in uh, Phoenix, Arizona with yet another installment of the uh, Office Hours for Internet History, Technology, and Security. And maybe, perhaps even the next course that I'm about to teach. So, so here we go. So Jeff, tell us your name and uh, a little bit about yourself. Oh, my name is Jeff Brook. I'm a retiring lawyer, semi-retired. And uh, I live in Arizona and uh, have had an interest in the internet because it's been a development uh, during my lifetime. So how many Coursera classes have you taken? Well, I've taken this one uh, for uh, three or four weeks and, dro and dropped out for other reasons because my schedule wouldn't permit it. And I took part of a finance course, which I frankly found over my head. <laughs> Okay. But I think it's I think the whole concept is marvelous. What do you think about any media coverage in this that Well, I I I think there's been a swing. The uh, particularly I, I have read the New York Times on it and of course in the very beginning the, I thought the articles communicated the excitement whereas now they tend to focus on the negative that a large number of students drop. But even after a large number of students drop students drop, there's still a very large numbers of people taking advantage of it, and it's free. So if we were to come back in 20 years, do you think this movement will like, have changed the world in any way? Boy, that's a little strong. Uh, <laughs> um, um, I don't know. I'll be interested. I'm not sure it'll change the world. I, I think it's more likely to change education, because certainly as we go forward, uh, I think educators and students alike are trying to figure out how how to use technology and how to use the independent learning. Okay, thanks. Sure, thank you. You're very welcome, you're very welcome. Okay, well, give us your name and uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. Uh, hi, I'm Steve Brown. I live here in Mesa, Arizona. I, uh, I've been always interested in technology my entire life. Um, from uh, I, w I attended Arizona State University. I was the uh, network administrator there. I was the one that put the uh, university on the internet. I was the first internet service provider here in uh, central Arizona. And uh, I worked for Cisco for 18 years and uh, had a blast doing that. And uh, so it's always been something that I've been interested in. So I'm really looking forward to uh, Chuck's perspective on internet history. So tell us a little bit about the other courses that you've taken so far. I, you know, I've taken a few Coursera uh, courses, um, just ones that interest me. Um, I've taken, I've started taking the finance class as well. I've taken a cryptography class. I took a class on uh, microprocessor architectures. Um, just general, oh, uh, one on um, power supplies, and power engineering. And um, I, I've just enjoyed every one of those that I've taken. Do you have any thoughts about the future, where this is all going? Uh, you know, I do. I think there's a fallacy that we uh, we go to school, we come educated, we come out, we enter the workforce. Uh, I think that's the the wrong way of approaching. I think education is a lifelong lifelong process, and um, that's that's why I really enjoy these. Do you think that this is a threat in any way to education? I, I don't. And, and if it is a threat in any way, it's in a positive sense. That it's, um, it, it's showing what education could be, where people are incented to want to participate as opposed to being told that that's what they're going to do. Okay. Okay, so there you have it. Uh, this, uh, this, this is a sort of an in-depth uh, discussion at uh, Office Hours here in uh, Phoenix, Arizona. See you.